for the Asian contractor and engineers who can perform better. There's so many small contractors out there. They don't know how to qualify for the certification, minority certification. They don't know how to go out and get a certification for a school, a school authority. So this platform not only provides you continue education, provide you a platform to learn how to get out and get achieve the bigger contracts. There's a, in this crowd, you can see there's a people here who has more than $100 million companies. There are people here with a million dollar company. But the, our, our goal is to bring all these contractors, bring all these engineers, bring, bring all these architects, and stay the business within the community and reach out and whatever we can do as a community, whatever we can help as a community. This is the purpose of this organization. And I would like to thank you, Congressman Frank Blon. He took a time to come here. And this is the community. This is America. This is New Jersey. And we should appreciate each other. This is not about the Asian society or Asian. This is about America. This is about a diverse community we live here in New Jersey. Thank you, Senator Dagnan. Thank you, Senator Thompson, Essex County Freeholder, Mr. Richardson, Linda Greenstein, Senator here. And that's what we have a Edison Democratic Chairman, Sharik. Sharik, can you please come here? We have a East Brunswick Mayor Brett Cohen here with, with us. So many, they, even though there's a governor's town hall meeting in in right now in North Brunswick, but it's still you can see so many people show up. Thank you very much, all of you. Thanks a lot. Well, thank you for having me here tonight. It's really my honor to be here. And as Sam said, and as Sam said, I'm a general contractor in the state of New Jersey. I've been doing this business now for 46 years. A long time. That's how I got white hair. I've worked with uh, hundreds of architects, hundreds of engineers. And I can't tell you thousands and thousands of contractors that range from carpenters to electricians to roofers to excavators, site people, plumbers, HVAC, control, you name it, I've worked with them. We do, most of my work now is with the state. We happen to be a union contractor and with that, it puts us into a different game. To, to, the, 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 the most important thing, the most important thing as a contractor is you have to get certifications as, as Sam was, was saying, right? You could get your small business association. You could get your SDA, which gives you the schoolwork. You could get DPMC, all of this is through the state. You gotta get your contractor's registrations forms with the state. This gets you the ability to bid on any projects for the public which means the Board of Ed jobs, which means municipal jobs, which also means state jobs. Now they're all different values. It all depends on you and how big your company is, whether, it's a, whether you do electrical or whether you're a general contractor. All these forms are available on, online and I'll leave my cards here and you can call my office and I'll be happy to sit down with anybody and walk you through this process because it's extremely complicated and it takes time. But it's so, so important that you do it right because the economy is so good right now. As Sam says, I can tell you right now, I can't find workers. There's a big difference between Trenton and Washington, D.C. We work together very frequently. And we are there to serve you. You are our future. That's what's constructed is there. But you are going to build the future. As the needs continue to increase in our state, you are the people that will be responsible for getting that job done. And we know you run into a lot of difficulties with regulations and permits and everything else. That's what we are there for. When you run into those, those programs, don't hesitate to call us. In fact, I am one of seven out of 120 legislators that's full time. So I'm in my office every day, except weekends. Then I'm out at places like this. So contractors who are uh, connected to us, we give them that stuff for free as well. So it's a service with different type of low, uh, union, and we help you get work through our relationships throughout the state of New Jersey, depending on the municipality that you're in, if you're trying to get permits and, 
and, and uh, building code, all of those kinds of things, we actually help you. Sam will tell you, he's had some, some issues in Irvington. He called me, we get them resolved. That's the type of like, uh, local union that we are. We're different. Um, I'm also the Essex County uh, uh, freeholder. I'm the vice president. But I wear another hat. I'm the chairman of the Central Planning Board for the city of Newark. So any of you guys that are doing work in Essex County, there are a lot of opportunity for minority contractors, especially uh, at the county. We spend hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars, and we are always looking for minority contractors. But you have to be state certified as a minority contractor. If that's just your interest, we can help you. If you're doing rehab work, I can help you. We can help each other. So I welcome you here as mayor. Um, I don't want to underestimate the value that we could provide to most of you in businesses such as yours. As mayor, we sit at the intersection of businesses that are coming into the community so we know what's on books for the planning and applications that are ahead. We sit at the intersection of the township, the library, the school board, and so we have a really good picture of what's not only going on in our town, but with a state like ours, which is so densely populated with over 500 and so different townships, we probably have a good idea what's going on in the neighboring townships as well. So I think that for what I've seen on my mayor's side of the day is that this is really a business of connections and, and, and opportunities uh, where situations like this give us a chance to meet one another and learn what's going on. So please take advantage of an opportunity to meet those of us that represents the cities that you want to work in because we can work together to make sure that we provide the best that we can for the citizens that live there. The only thing I wanted to mention tonight a little substance is infrastructure because one of the things that I do believe that Democrats and Republicans and the president can get together on, although it hasn't happened yet, is a major infrastructure bill. And I'm sure that all of you know, is if you're, because my, my, you're all engineers or architects, that we are not keeping up. Every you know, developed country, China, India, all of them, as a percentage of their gross national product, are spending a lot more and investing a lot more in their country's infrastructure than we are in the United States. Our roads, our bridges, our mass transit, our electricity grid, our sewer systems, they're, they're crumbling. And it just makes no sense because we estimate that if we had a trillion dollar infrastructure bill, which is what both President Trump and Hillary Clinton promised when they ran three, four years ago, that would create something like 10 million jobs in the United States. And not, not low paying jobs, but good jobs, right? Not only in construction, in the engineering, in the architecture, and everything else. So one of the things that we did last week is we're trying to revive and get the president and both parties and the Senate and the House to do some kind of major infrastructure bill between now and the end of the year, even if it ends up being in the, you know, in the lame duck after the presidential election. And mo a lot of it is transportation, mass transit highways, but also involves the electricity grid, brownfields and Superfund, the uh, sewage treatment plants, safe drinking water, a number of things. And it can also be a vehicle to try to address climate change by having better efficiency, you know, by trying to link up the electricity grid to renewables, whether it's solar or windmills. There are a lot of things that we could do that really would move the nation forward. So I just want you to know that many of us are trying to do this on a bipartisan basis. Whether it happens is anybody's guess, but there still is an effort in Washington to move forward and try to get things done this year on a bipartisan basis. And I want to leave you with that. Thanks again, Sam. Thanks for bringing us together. A school board of education, we have a Jerry Shi, uh, he was the president last year. We have Richard Brusher, councilman here. If you want to say a few words, Mahesh Bhagya. I want to thank Sam Bai for uh, making such a great platform, uh, also bringing everybody together. We have a lot of uh, people from our community who are getting into construction, engineers. Uh, so this is a great platform. I thank Sam Bai for doing this. Thank you.
The councilman who has won with the largest votes in the Edison Township, right. Mr. Joe Coyle. How, How are, are you? you, sir? Good, fantastic. Good. Right. So, Joe, we are hosting this beautiful event, the Asian Society of Engineers, Architects and Contractors, which is happening in your neck of the woods. What do you have to think when you talk about this, when you talk about diversity, when you talk about, you know, uh, such a huge, large proportion of diverse people living in your township? Well, actually, we're just so excited to, for this event today, and I want to thank Sam Khan and the Society of Asian Architects, Engineers, and Contractors. Um, this area is a building pot, we know, with culture, and it's important that we put them to work. Having area families uh, get together uh, with their trades to support one initiative to keep people working is important. I mean, we all know we worked hard in education, we worked hard to put our kids uh, into college. Uh, some chose a, a field like this, which is a, a, a tougher field to be it in. Is. Okay, this is not the IT world. Uh, this is much stronger. It takes a different route, and we need support to make sure people are working. You can't be out in this field and be a salesperson and run your company. You need a group of people to come collectively Absolutely. together to care about keeping work in the community and making sure we feed the, the area, the residents, where the development is. Look. We have a room full of people who are excited about business, who want to network with each other, and are looking to us, too, as government officials, to help them in any way we can, uh, whether it's looking at regulations, whether it's looking at problems that they may have dealing with government. All of the people who are up there today um, made a comment that they'd like to try to be of help. So if people are having problems, we certainly want them to contact us and let us know. And I guess an X percent of the business is secure uh, with a state or a federal contract for the MBE business, for the minority-owned business, right? Well, as far as I know, uh, there are several different programs, um, and it's it's um, the state has lots of programs that would assist um, minority contractors. So I'm sure that uh, there are programs that can help people start out sure. and uh, have wonderful businesses. Well, standing next to me is person who doesn't need any introduction. Our most popular councilman, Mr. Ajay Patil. He's a councilman of Edison Township. Marathi Manus, and, and he's been graciously giving his time for the today's event. So Mr. Patil, today we are at the Asian Society of Engineers, Architects, and Contractors. Very unique association where the engineers, architects, and contractors can come together, can, can look at the big picture towards building the infrastructure and, and growing the U.S. economy, which is the backbone of our nation. So, so we are hosting it in your township, so thank you so much for allowing us. And what do you have to say, sir, when you see about New Jersey being a diverse population, mm -hmm. being a melting pot, and, and, and so many opportunities are available for us. So what do you have to say for today's program? Yes, when we came to America, you know, most of us are either doctors or engineers. Most of them are engineers. And I would call them as hidden gems. If you look, at our, if you look around, you'll find probably two, three hundred people here. They didn't just pop up here. And most of them are from this town and the neighboring town. So you can see we do contribute a lot. It's just a matter of recognizing them, okay. having this kind of a networking event right in multiple towns. But I'm very proud and it's an honor for Edison Township to have this kind of a networking event in Edison. Okay. So it's a wonderful event. And thank you, TV5, Manna TV, coming here and covering this wonderful event. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Let me introduce him. He is the assemblyman of New Jersey. Rob, thank you so much for coming in here. Today we hosted Asian Society of Engineers, Architects and Contractors. When you talk about New Jersey, when you talk about US, we talk about diversity, right? It's a melting pot. People from different heritage, from different background, from different countries have come in together at some point of time. So, so you know, we feel proud to see New Jersey being a cheerleader and, 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 and carrying forward that legacy so today when you see a very large pool of engineers, architects, contractors coming together, and minority is a backbone of our industry, the way that segment is growing, whether you are a person with color, whether you are woman-owned, whether you're LGBT, and the whole nine yard. So what do you have to say about the today's event, Rob? 
first I want to say thank you for having me. It's my honor to be here. And it's so important that we network and we talk. New Jersey is the most diverse state in the nation Absolutely. and also the most densely populated in the nation. Absolutely. So we have so much to do together. Mm -hmm. And as I look around in the hundreds and hundreds of people here, as I said before, I worked with hundreds of engineers, hundreds of architects, and thousands of contractors in my career. Uh -huh. And it only gets better with the technology and the skill set that everybody brings to the table. We're doing a great, great job here. And I do work in New Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania, and Delaware. And I have to tell you, I love New Jersey and I love everybody that's here, it's so important. I can't, I keep, I can't stress how important it is to, to meet everybody, network, I, I must have about 50 cards here tonight. Absolutely. And I gave, I gave out all my cards. I think you've got the last one. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what, it's, it, that's, that's what makes New Jersey so great and that's what makes our nation so great. Absolutely. And I am proud to be here. It's a land of immigrants, it's, it's a melting pot of different diversities and ethnicities. Yes. So, so Rob, I thank you so much for, for kindly gracing this occasion and, and, and keep smiling. I mean, that smile All is very time. contagious. Thank All you right. so much. Thank you so thank much. You. Standing next to me is the Don of Newark, <laughs> Wayne Richardson, the guy who got the most claps after the introduction. And, and people literally said, anything you need, in Newark area, he is the person you should connect to. So thank you so much, Wayne, for coming in all the way from Newark to Edison, and we appreciate that. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate that. Sure. So today you came in, that's the Asian Society of Engineers, Architects, Contractors, diverse trade professions, primarily of the Asian heritage, when you talk about country, it's a black month happening, you know, this month. So, so you being a diverse, you know, person of a color, me being a person of a color, U.S. being a country, land of opportunity, being a melting pot, irrespective of the race, creed, religion, ethnicity. I mean, I feel proud being a U.S. citizen, and, and this country gave such an opportunity for, for minorities to excel in their business. So, so say a few things, sir, about today's event and about your Newark and, and so many few, some of the things which you're doing. So this particular event was well put together, well thought out by uh, my good friend Sam Khan. And I'm just grateful for the opportunity to come and share what little knowledge that I have and gain a lot of knowledge from the folks who were here. And the biggest thing, the biggest takeaway for me was is the networking and uh, shared opportunities, mm -hmm. how we can help one another grow in business, and, and that's the key. It doesn't matter where you come from, who you are, what your religion is, your ethnicity, it's about people working collectively for a common good. Mm -hmm. We're all trying to get to the finish line, we're all trying to get somewhere, but if we can get, we can get there faster if we work together and not be afraid of one another, we have to work together, have the conversation. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But these types of events are essential to growth in the business. So I'm really grateful for the opportunity to come and share my, my two cents uh, with all the experts here. Well, I, I thank you for doing so, sir. I have someone standing next to me, the person who does not need any introduction. Singh is king, Atma Singh. इस बंदे को कोई इंट्रोडक्शन की जरूरत नहीं है आप न्यू जर्सी में हो आप आत्मा सिंह को जानते हो ऐसा हो नहीं सकता आत्मा पाजी इज अ सक्सेसफुल एंटरप्रेन्योर ही हैज अ ट्रकिंग बिजनेस शिपिंग बिजनेस ऑल अक्रॉस द कंट्री उनके ट्रक्स चलते रहते हैं जापसी ट्रांसपोर्टेशन आत्मा पाजी सबसे पहली बार सत श्री अकाल थैंक यू सो मच फॉर कमिंग इन थैंक यू आज हमारा जो एशियन सोसाइटी ऑफ इंजीनियर्स आर्किटेक्ट और कॉन्ट्रैक्टर्स का बड़ा अच्छा सम्मेलन रहा इंजीनियर्स भी आए आर्किटेक्ट्स भी आए कॉन्ट्रैक्टर्स भी आए और बाकी सारे डिवर्स पॉपुलेशन भी आए तो आप क्या कहना चाहोगे इस इवेंट के बारे में देखो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मैं एशियन सोसाइटी का थैंक्स करता हूँ जिन्होंने कि इंजीनियर्स आर्किटेक्ट और कॉन्ट्रैक्टर्स को बुलाया यहाँ पर मैं तो पॉलिटिशियन हूँ समाज सेवी हूँ मेरा लाइफ में कोई ऐसा रोल नहीं है बिल्डिंग मटेरियल इनका तो मेरे को मालूम भी नहीं है 
लेकिन एज ए लीडर्स क्योंकि मैं जब छोटा था तो पढ़ता था कि जो लीडर होते हैं वो ना बिल्डिंग बनाते हैं ना ब्रिज बनाते हैं ना सड़कें बनाते हैं जो लीडर होता है वो कम्युनिटी को गेट टुगेदर करता है वो कौमें बनाता है वो दुनिया में शांति लाता है वो दुनिया में जो नीडी होते हैं उनको हेल्प करता है तो मैं भी हमेशा बड़ी हैप्पी बड़ा हैप्पी रहा हूँ कि जो भी ऐसे इवेंट होते हैं सब अच्छे लोग आते हैं एक दूसरे से मिलते हैं जहाँ हमें इंजीनियर आर्किटेक्ट और बिल्डर्स जरूरी हैं वहीं हमें ऐसे लीडर्स भी जरूरी है जिस तरह आज शैम खान ने यहाँ पे एक पावर हाउस पूरा इकट्ठा किया हुआ था हर एक लीडर आया उन्होंने देखा कि इंडियन पाकिस्तानी कम्युनिटी एशियन कम्युनिटी कितनी बड़ी है और उनमें कितनी एकजुटता है जो सब मिल एक जो अमेरिका को न्यू जर्सी को एक नया शेप दे सकते हैं वेरी गुड वेरी गुड वेरी गुड पाजी वेरी वेल थॉट वेरी वेल पुट एंड थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर टाइम थैंक यू थैंक यू देव कालेकर जी थैंक यू थैंक यू